Well, Mark Robinson, an end to a run of defeats and dramatic circumstances. We kept going right to the end, didn't we? Yeah, we did. And um, after the first half that was really ineffective, which I'll explain why if you want to know. Um, yeah, we did. We were much better second half and we caused them problems. Um, the goal obviously has come. We know why the goal's come. But then we, you know, we, we regrouped and kept going and, um, and, and we got what we deserved in the end. We're actually having our best spell in the game before we conceded, yeah? No, exactly. We was. We started the second half really bright. We actually started the first half quite bright as well. And then, as I said, it, then it became ineffective. But no, we started the second half really bright. Um, obviously, Rudy had a really good chance, etc. So, you know, you felt um, that it was coming and, and they've got the goal in the fashion they have. But, um, you know, and so we've already spoken about it. And um, it's, it's, it's something that's happened. And, and, it, and these things won't happen very often, but it happens to the best. You know. Burton have come here in the past and have had success, perhaps a bit defensive today. Yeah, and, and, and that's the thing that I've been talking to the lads about. So we've been watching analysis and I'm trying to explain to them now is it's so important that they're learners of the game and they understand the game because the, the footage we've watched on them, they're not defensive at all. They're a high press inside, they're aggressive, they go at you and they become detached. So the whole, our whole game plan was draw them out, they press you and then we can find space with our two tens and then we can hurt them. They didn't do that. They sat in their shape, which, is, which shows you teams are looking at us differently now. I think teams know if they go high press against us, we've got the ability to play out and hurt them. And this is what I said to the boys, you know, this is why it's important, you know, we can overanalyze games. You've got to be able to recognize pictures because what happened was they didn't, they sat in their shape. We're having nine, 10 passes around the back, then going long, we're detached. And, and they're coming back at us, so so we were ineffective. So that's why we went to a four-three-three, and then we ended up playing around the outsides of them. So you know it's so important that they can understand pitches because we, we can't wait till half time to change it. And you know even in the shape we've had, there was no reason why our tens couldn't have pulled out wide and give us the width we needed. I could have pulled out wide, give us the width, and the fullbacks need to get higher. So they they changed their game plan. You know whether you want to call it respect or whatever, but they've obviously seen something that they thought they can't do that against us, and they've changed their their style of play. And it meant that most of our prep was totally ineffective, and that's why you've got to be able to understand the game, and that's the process we're in. Goal that we did concede though. What did you make of it? Well, Ants, you know when you want to be a side that's capable of building up it's really important that your first fault is still always forward. And sometimes I think our fault's been backwards. So I just showed out the goal and I just said, look, if your first fault's forward, you have it, you touch somewhere up, you touch in front, and then we can play forward. But because we can build up, his, his first fault is back a little bit and he hasn't seen the player and he's, and he's made an error. It is what it is. But as I said, he'd understand, you know, you've seen the best of it. Gerald's got caught, they've all got caught. So um, it's, again, you'd rather it not happen. Of course, you don't want to concede a cheap goal, but it'll make him even better than he already is. Spoke to Luke McCormack in the build up to this game as well. He's becoming a proper Wimbledon player, isn't he? Yeah, definitely. And he, he had a brilliant week training this week. He had his best session yesterday. And um, I was, I was going to get Chis on, if I'm honest, at, uh, at the set piece, um, because Chis has been really, really bright in training as well. And Rob said, should we do it now? And, Luckily, I said, no, let's wait, and um, he got the goal. So, um, yeah, and you know, again, it's, it takes a little bit of settling in from what we want, but he's, he's getting very good off the ball now, as well as on the ball, which is what we need from all the players, and there's others that have got to get better off the ball as well. I keep hearing these words, there's a two-week break now. There is no break, is there? You've got them out there training on the pitch again right now, haven't you? No, 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 it's, it's, it's a two-week window for us to, to improve, you know, and that's what we're going to do. I'm, you know, I'm quite excited about what we can do over the next two weeks. We've definitely got a friendly on Thursday now, which we'll use um, to, to implement some further things. So, um, no, we'll, we'll be full at it over the next two weeks. And over 7,000 fans in here today as well. Great atmosphere in, the, in conditions as well. Rob, they just keep getting better, to be honest, um, because the first half we were, we were so ineffective. Um, but as I said, there's a reason by that. I want the fans to understand there's a reason. You know, you look at a side and when they change what they're going to do, that's, that's the reason. And, players have to adapt and understand how to adapt to be effective but there's no two ways about it, it was totally ineffective, you know, half in the first five yeah. minutes we weren't a threat um, but they stepped with us in the second half, yes, again, I know they is. just yeah, don't stop at the moment, they're, you know, they're just fully behind the boys and it's we're, we're so appreciated, we appreciate it so much and I think they can understand that we're really trying to build something so, um, you know, but what's key when it's not good like it was first half, 
they stuck with us, which, and you can feel it behind them. There's, there's no groaning, and if I'm honest, first half they had every right to have a little groan because it wasn't great to watch from either side, to be honest. It was, it was a poor game. But they stuck with us in second half, they were just incredible once again. Robert, well done, and thanks for your time. Cheers, Rob.